can become addicted to alcohol and or drugs. Little model. I, I made this model up. But I call it the elastic, elastic band theory. Twenty-one, fourteen, fifty-five, thirty-five, and ninety. So we're really talking about people who have gone above this line, who have become addicted to alcohol and or drugs. <coughs> what happens is that if this represents the brain chemical balance, so inside of our brains we've got different chemicals. Anybody know what they are? Dopamine. Dopamine. <laughs> serotonin, etc., etc. So lots of different chemicals. I'm going to use the word normal, so it's somebody who isn't addicted. Their brain chemical balance is around the center. So they feel okay when their brain chemical balance is around there. However, somebody who's gone above that or addicted to heroin, all the other stuff, what's happened to their brain chemical balance is it's moved off to one side. So an addicted person's brain chemical balance is now hovering around there. So the addicted person's brain believes that's the right place for it. So when they don't have a drink or they don't take drugs, this then starts to move slowly back towards what the real center should be. However, because their brain thinks it's there, their brain thinks, no, 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 I don't like this, I don't, I don't want this. And certainly for alcoholics, even drug addicts, they're going to start shaking. You've heard of DTs? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're going to start shaking, they're going to feel physically sick, they're going to start sweating because their brain is actually saying, no, 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 I want to be back here. This is where I should be. And you're taking me away from what I think is the, the correct center. So they get all these symptoms. If you give an alcoholic a drink or you give a drug addict a drug, what will happen is they'll come back, back there. So for alcoholics and drug addicts, they might be shaken because it's going that way. But as soon as you give them the drug, Stop shaking. That's why an awful, awful lot of people can come to work perfectly okay. They can be addicted to drugs and alcohol, but appear to be normal. Yeah. And in the Air Force, I had a, a colleague, and I, and I was a bit naive, I suppose, many, many years ago when I first joined up. That I had a colleague who used to come in stinking of alcohol, and then first thing in the morning, he'd be like that. You know, and we were working on equipments that had 18,000 volts going through them. And it would be like that, and I'm thinking, oh, don't touch anything, you shouldn't. <clears throat> but after a tea break, you'd come back like that. And it's only just now I've having done this that I suddenly, I've trip. realized what he's done is gone off. He's having his vodka, um, yeah. Come back, and he's steady as a rock. That's how people can appear to be perfectly all right at work. As long as they're topped up. My brain is saying, yes, I'm all right. I can function normally now. However, once they start, like an hour, two hours, three hours later, the symptoms start to come back and more shakes and just top up again. I feel all right. Yeah. So what happens really, my elastic band theory is if you can imagine that there's a really, really strong elastic band there for the majority of people who are not addicted to anything. And what we do, if we have it, let's use alcohol, if we start drinking, what happens to us? The more drink we have, the worse we feel, isn't it? Yeah. So really what we're doing is pushing it away from the centre. And most of us have a sort of, a, a, a level that we can't go past. Yeah. Because what happens is we feel sick. Yeah. And we want to get rid of it, or we just want to go to sleep, or whatever it does to you, we want to go back. So what's actually happened is this is getting tighter and tighter and tighter the more you drink. And eventually it's going to snap and it's going to pull you back. And we'll just not want any more drink. Yeah, so that we'll back at, be back at normal. But what happens to people who are addicted, this has actually transferred itself to this side. So when they don't have a drink or don't take drugs, it gets tighter and tighter and tighter. And eventually, because it's going to give you the symptoms, it's going to pull you back. So what? So that's actually how they become addicted, and that's what's happening up here, or when you're addicted to any sort of drugs and stuff like that. And addicted, you can be addicted to, you know, you've all heard of the sort of the older antidepressants that you become addicted to, 
things like diazepam and stuff like that, people have become addicted to. Mm -hmm. Valium people have become addicted to. So it's not just illegal drugs, it's any sort of prescribed drugs can make you addictive.